What's good guys, it's Mike aka Buzz Lightyear here. I'm gonna bring you some team deathmatch in the map Crash. That's right, gonna bring you guys some old Call of Duty 4 status. Now, I was on MW3 the other day. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna quit playing MW3. I was on MW3 the other day, minding my own business, playing with my boy uh, Davey and Tarnished Panda. And if you guys don't know who Tarnished Panda is, that's Stax. And uh, Stax's boy, a uh, guy I used to play with a long time ago, his Xbox broke, he hadn't played in a while, but he was at Stack's house, and he's like, you know what, Buzz, MW3 is just not my game, I, I really don't care for it, do you have Call of Duty 4, would you throw it in and play? I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, I love Call of Duty 4, uh, I haven't played it in like six months, I played like six months ago, and I got into a bunch of modded lobbies, and it was just fucking gay, I didn't really want to play, it kind of discouraged me, so I was like, you know what, screw this, there wasn't very many players online, um, but yeah, so I was like, I told him that before we started the game, I'm like, you know, check how many players online, there might not be anybody on. I was baffled when he told me. He, he said that there was 3,300 people still playing this game. I was absolutely baffled, especially because you got all these new games out and whatever else. But, you know, I guess there's just a lot of BKs out there that still own the game. Um, don't mind playing it, like kind of like I do. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, you know, we were playing the game, having a lot of fun. I thought I'd, rec I thought I'd record a game for you guys. Um, because I missed this game, I thought this game was the shit back in the day. Um, so uh, what I had the question for you guys is, what was your favorite Call of Duty? Uh, which one do you guys like the most? Now, obviously, uh, MW3 has got a lot of perks. This one, you know, there's a lot of differences. You know, this one's more gritty. Uh, you know, you got your kill streaks are different. The guns are different. You know, you got different. You know, stopping power juggernaut. Uh, what things do you miss? Frag times three. Uh, special grenade times three. I mean, this game pretty much started it all. I mean, yeah, you had Halo and a few others, but. Uh, for me, this game started it all. Um, so yeah, what was your favorite Call of Duty? Uh, I mean, this one was probably my favorite, to be honest. I mean, I, I do, don't get me wrong, I love Black Ops, and I love Modern Warfare 3. I mean, a lot of things about it. And there's things about this game that suck, too. Um, you know, Juggernaut was a big thing. Uh, stopping Power was a big thing. Uh, bad, you know, bad spawning positions. That guy literally just spawned behind me. Uh, that stuff happened in this game, too. But what was your favorite of all the, you know, of all the series? I mean, if it was one of the older ones, like 3 or 2 or 1, I mean, that'd be kind of weird, but, uh, yeah, I mean, drop it in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys like the most. Um, for me, it was this one. I like this one, just the basic style of play. There's a lot of things about it that were really cool. Um, it was really, really weird getting used to this. I mean, this one had a 357 setup, and the 357 was the UAV, the, air, the airstrike, and the helicopter. Uh, I, I had a hard time getting used to that because, you know, obviously in the new one, you get to keep your kill streaks. In this one, if you didn't use your UAV and you got your Harrier Strike or your Air Strike, you would lose it. You, I mean, you didn't. if you didn't use it, you lost it. So, I mean, that was really, really weird to get used to, you know, because it's only two kills away and it was really easy to get two kills. Another thing I really, really liked about this game is that it was so hard to get golden guns. Now, in, in Black Ops and in MW3, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not too hard, but it's a little harder. Um, you know, of course you have the Prestige and Black Ops to get, you know, to 14 to get your Golden Guns. And then naturally, of course, with the MW3 series, you've got to play the shit out of one gun in order to get those points and get that gun golden. In this one, it was kind of cool. They had one gun that was golden, that was available to be golden in every setup. You had, you know, your assault rifles, your SMGs, your light machine guns, your snipers, and your shotguns. And with each weapon in those classes, you had to get at least, I think, 100 headshots per gun. Watch me poop on this kid. But yeah, you had to actually have at least 100 headshots, I think it's 100 headshots per gun. Um, so it was really, I mean, it was kind of long and tedious, and it took some time to get to get that down. And, uh, you know, I liked that, and I, I think I didn't I didn't get every gun golden, because I didn't really care. I, all I really cared about was sniping and uh, shotguns in this game. I mean, I, of course I had my tryhard classes, like the uh, MP5. The MP5 in this game was legit. It's not like the MP5 you see in NW3. And then, of course, you had the M16, and this game was the shit, too. Um, you know, that a lot of people used it, and it was like, you know, it was a tryhard game. It was like the FAMAS, I guess, or, uh, you know, the Type 95 or something. But yeah, so, uh, you know, hey, watch me poop on this kid, too. That's another thing. I loved Frag Times 3. Now, in, in this time of, you know, if you were playing Call of Duty 4, this was a bitch thing. You couldn't use Frag 3. Uh, I don't think you could use it in, in GB, but I loved using it, especially in situations like you just saw. You know, I had to hide behind a truck. I was at a big disadvantage, but I still had a frag. Now, I didn't throw all my frags. Like, a lot of kids bitched about frag times three because people would use them right away at the very beginning of the round. I don't know why I died there. But they would use them at the very beginning of the round, and it's like, dude, at least, you know, save your grenades. Don't play like a little bitch. But, you know, I always saved them for, like, in cases I got, you know, in case I got in a situation where I needed to throw it to hopefully get that guy out of my way. Um, you know, of course, there's, there's gameplays where you just have fun with grenades and you throw the fuck out of them, but... For the most part, I used it as a strategy, not as like being a bat, uh, you know, a bitch. So, yeah, that's that's this is the game for me. 
Uh, so if you guys could, don't forget to just drop me a comment in the comments below. Let me know which one you guys liked the most and what part of it you liked. If it was the maps. Like for me, Crash, this map right here, this guy pulls a Houdini. I don't know where the hell he went. I didn't get an assist and I shot him. Where the fuck did he go? Um, but yeah, it's like, what was your favorite map? I mean, for me, I loved Crash. I loved Crossfire. I liked, uh, you know, one, one of the biggest ones, Ambush and Backlot. Those are the sickest maps. Um, so yeah, please do me a favor. Just throw me a comment. I'm sorry if you guys don't like the game. And I, I just thought that I'd post it because I loved this game. I ended up doing beast mode in this. I never played Team Deathmatch when I actually played this game. I was always an SND player, so I thought this was a pretty, pretty fun-ass gameplay. So yeah, if you guys could, uh, like this video, and as always, I hope you're all keeping it real. I'll talk to you soon. Peace!